Before doing a complex or high-risk flight test, I always visualize getting in there, starting up the engine, taxiing out, getting the thrust going, holding the brakes, releasing, feeling the acceleration and lift off. This time that will be the same, going into the Dragon capsule, sitting there, having all that force working and pushing us away from Earth, up into space. It's gonna be a very strong feeling, I believe. That's something I'm really looking forward to. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> as soon as I met him, I was struck by his persona. Marcus is very technically competent, and he has great interpersonal skills. He went to the U.S. Naval Test Pilot School, finished first in his class, which is not something I can say. He's a wonderful guy, so joyful, so extrovert. I'm so happy to have him as my counterpart. Marcus is just like a brother to me. On top of that, Marcus is a fellow Scandinavian, which already qualifies him in my book. During my time in, in the army and going to university, studying to become an engineer, I figured that if I'm gonna do it, then why not do it full out? When I start doing something, I build a very big interest of what I'm doing and I, I kind of become passionate about it. I guess the thoughts about being an astronaut has been there uh, on and off uh, as many dreams. I just uh, figured it required an extreme amount of luck. The European Space Agency needed new astronauts. That does not happen very often. Luckily, my wife saw this ad where they called for astronauts. I saw that a couple of hundred thousand people had looked at that page, so okay, this is highly unlikely or nearly impossible, but not impossible, so why not? And then I applied, and it turned out that it, it, it worked out. Marcus is one of ESA's new project astronauts, which means that he's been hired to take advantage of these new exciting opportunities that commercial spaceflight offers us. My ESA mission is Moonin. That's one of uh, Odin, the Viking gods, two ravens. Odin sent them out to fly around the world and gather and bring back knowledge. The other raven is Hugin. That is the name of Andy Morgus's mission, being up in space right now. So now Moonin will fly up, meet Hugin, and we'll together orbit Earth and get that knowledge back. The idea of a project astronaut and being a part of pioneering that, together with Sweden and then ESA, together with Axiom, making this possible, opening up that way of accessing space for Europe. Sweden is in there helping to make that happen, and that makes me proud.